My Pillow CEO Mike Lindell is now selling coffee because a caffeinated beverage is the best way to keep his customers away from their beds so they have less of a chance to realize their overpriced sacks of his chopped up patented fill were not the best purchase. Plus, Josh Hawley gets the receipts tossed in his face at the January 6th hearing and Trump's outtakes are pure gold. And you have this toxicity. And you have this toxicity. If that's a yeah, right yeah, word, this toxicity. evil, yep. this evil that combines against us. That's what we're up. Toxicity is definitely not a real word. Not even close. Brandon is not just a yes man. He is a slow man like Mike Lindell. It is pouring MAGA tears. Get out your mugs because Mike Lindell's botched nonsense is hilarious. I do a solid roast on the early draft of his coffee commercial, dig into Trump's outtakes, plus the latest and in stupid including Lauren Boebert, Josh Hawley, and more. Ted Cruz's secret love interest tweeted, Thank you, Donald J. Trump Jr., Eric Trump, Tiffany A. Trump, Ivanka Trump, and Barron for never exposing or humiliating our country and the first family like some others. Naturally, I replied, Operating a scam university, stealing from a cancer charity, running a Chinese visa racket, poaching majestic animals, and promoting blatant election lies are all humiliating. But I guess your judgment is blurred since you married a fella who won an ankle tag for being a sex pest. But all the big chain of coffee cafes that um, the reason they all taste the same is because they burn all the beans. So they have one distinct taste. Starbucks, I know you had 8.1 billion in revenue last year, but simple Jack Lindell thinks you're doing it wrong. Uh, the um, certified organic, the non-GMO, the 100% Ar 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 Arabic, Arabica. Uh, whatever that means, I still don't know what that means, Me but it's neither. a good... Mike has the same amount of coffee knowledge as he has evidence. Uh, it's got, uh, it's certified organic, it's non-GMO, 100% Arabica, or whatever that is. Yeah, I stumbled over that too the other day. What is that? Uh, what's that? It's the region where the coffee it's the, it's, oh. a region. it's a region, I guess. That's what Caitlin said. All right, well, there, Jimmy Kimmel's going to use that It's in first. Honduras, everybody, so... Just because you have a news program and put a map of the world behind you doesn't mean you have a clue. It's not a region in Honduras, everybody. Coffee Arabica, also known as Arabic coffee, is a species of flowering plant that is said to have originated in Ethiopia. It is believed to be the first species of coffee to have been cultivated and represents about 60% of global coffee production. We're doing more tests here, but it looks like it's a total success. We are going to make, I did make a commercial on Friday for all the cable TV. That's your. Let's check out the early draft of his coffee commercial. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and I'm excited to announce my latest grift, my coffee. This Arabic coffee comes all the way from the Honduras, and I've employed the best artists to use the finest paintbrushes to put Bible verses on every single bean. Just look at all these awesome people farming in another country. That's not a coffee bean, it's a steak sandwich. We used our big budget to get stock footage of Honduras and film this in front of a green screen instead of an actual kitchen. If you can guess how many beans are in this shot, I will shave my mustache and get a Biden tattoo. If you want a terrible aftertaste, jitters, or an upset stomach, it's all possible with my coffee. That's not a coffee cup, it's a steak sandwich. I keep picking up the bag to check if the coffee's alive. Order now with promo code number C and enjoy a cup of my brown sludge while watching my channel on Roco if you can get it to load. This isn't a bag of beans, it's a steak sandwich. And you're going to need at least two forks to enjoy my coffee. All right. Well, and that's the raw version. We're getting, we're, we always like to test things here, but we've got all the colors and stuff will be made for TV and they, uh, and a different, a different song. I didn't like the song in the background. I'm very particular about stuff like that, Bren. I know. Yeah. Donald Trump didn't fail to act. He chose not to act. See, this is why he hangs out with Kevin Sorbo and Scott Baio. If you've seen their films, they failed to act and chose not to act. I would like to begin by addressing the heinous attack yesterday. And to those who broke the law, you will pay. 
You do not represent our movement. You do not represent our country. And if you broke the law, you can't say that. No, you can't bring yourself to say that. They did break the law again and again. I'm not gonna, you, I already said you will pay. The demonstrators who infiltrated the Capitol have defied the seat of dust. It's defiled, right? See, I can't see it very well. If you don't know this, it's Ivanka working the teleprompter, and she hasn't figured out how to make the font bigger for the smallest president ever. Okay, I'll, I'll do this. I'm going to do this. Let's go. But this election is now over. Congress has certified the results. I don't want to say the election's over. I just he couldn't say the election was over when it was. Yesterday is a hard word for me. Just take that. The hands are tied. Ah, good. Take the word yesterday, because it doesn't work with... I think he's just flustered because Ivanka told him to take it out. Right here, right now, take it out. On our country, say on our country. Want to say that? No, no, no. My only goal was to ensure the integrity of the vote. My only goal was to ensure the integrity of the vote. That, my friends, is a man who throws hamburgers. Guaranteed. In Honduras, they have the best growing conditions for one crop. You know what that crop is, Brandon? Coffee? Coffee plants. Isn't that something? It's like we do our the geese overseas uh, uh, with the geese of cotton. Hey, look, our Patriot coffee is imported, like our Egyptian sheets. Josh Hawley was the first senator to say he would object to the certification of the election, and he raised his fist in solidarity with the protesters amassing at the security gates. Senator Hawley even put a photo of his Capitol riot salute on a mug that was advertised in an email to supporters sent by Hawley's campaign. Liberals are so easily triggered, and this new mug is really whipping the left into a frenzy. Josh isn't scared, he's show me strong. The panel played previously undisclosed Capitol security footage, showing Hawley running away. He is cruising. I love it. Slow-mo, slow-mo. Let's see it. Yep, there he is. And then, woo, get out of my way, going down the steps. Josh isn't scared. He's show me strong. Even better is when you see this clip with the reaction in the room. <laughs> oh, fantastic. The guy raising his fist and selling mugs about strength and defiance ran away again and again. At this point, Josh Hawley's had more runaways than Matt Gates. Uh, we don't have the little cup shit because we ran this test, you know, the little character, whatever it is, you know, the uh, in the machines, a little, what do they call it? Keurig, K-cups, not hard. I think this is a good time to mention I made these Let's Go Darwin mugs and they've got my MAGA Tears logo on the other side and I've added a the Socks Stay On mug by popular demand. If you want to support the show, I have these, some other mugs and fun stickers, or you can now tip me with this PayPal QR code, the link in the description, or you can smash the super thanks button below. Thanks so much for watching. Back to the show. Alex here, still broadcasting from my Patriot bunker with Marjorie again, good dude. I've been keeping her entertained with an old Nintendo entertainment system I hooked up, but her opposable thumbs are not super functional. I taught her the up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, select, start, 30-man cheat, and she really enjoys it because it involves a lot of men and cheating. So usually mid-game, she demands a session, and I have to stop the alien war and dive in to the margarine taco gristle. I love my 8-bit video games, I do, and I don't mind hitting pause to dump my gazpacho all over her, <laughs> but I do have to do some mental cartwheels to get past the existence of what is going on down there with those feet that look like they've tap danced on a landmine big time. Even with those coverings, I know beneath the cotton lurks those sarlacc pit hammered spam cans that would make more sense twirling in the window of a greasy kebab shop than at the base of the blonde meat swamp. What is the rule? The socks stay on. The socks stay on. And that aftertaste is horrible. You gotta disguise it as a espresso or a, a... It is peak ugly American to say espresso. Is espresso really that hard? 
And while we're at it, coffee in Italy is just espresso. And the Americano came out when the American troops were struggling to consume the strong coffee. So the Italians watered it down and called it Americano. If you've never been to Italy, please go. It is fantastic. At the boss Saturday night in Memphis. So after five years of very hard work, we finally got to meet him. And the hair on my arms is it's standing up even more now. Trump University graduate life dropout. The hairs on my arms are standing up. I'm just glad this fella's wearing pants. Isn't it amazing how the left are called snowflakes that live in their mom's basement when Trump fills fields with people who consider attending his rallies work? So what do you do for a living? I drive around the country complaining about gas prices while watching the defeated former president tell me I'm special and ask for my money. Record smashing temperatures across the UK led to many things, including wild scenes such as the Queen's Guard needed to be watered like a hamster. He's being fed like a hamster here. What are we doing, people? It was over 40 degrees and you still have this lot dressed for a cold circus. Take the hat off. The rooftop snipers have this covered. You don't need a silly outfit to protect the Queen. If you really care about the troops, get these guys out of these ridiculous outfits. If you don't have anything good to do, then watch this, I guess. MAGA Tears. The host reminds me of John Oliver, and John Oliver reminds me libs aren't good at being funny. MAGA Tears. The Dems are turning this into a communist country. MAGA Tears. YouTube, you ain't telling me how I could talk. MAGA Tears. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by sharing this video or posting it on your social media. It'll cost you nothing and makes a huge difference for me. If you can afford to, please hit the super thanks button or tip me via PayPal and be sure to check out my mugs and stickers that go great with those MAGA tears. I am a stand-up comedian. I've played in 35 countries. I've supported Jim Jeffries on five of his tours. I have three albums on Spotify and Apple Music. Be sure to check them out. Life's short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.